The Hawker Tempest The Hawker Tempest, a British fighter aircraft, was primarily utilized by the Royal Air Force during World War II. To address the Hawker Typhoon's unexpected performance decline at high altitude, the Tempest, formerly known as the Typhoon II, improved variant replaced its wing with the thinner laminar flow design. The Tempest was used in place of the Typhoon due, due to the latter's subsequent significant evolution. As the war's quickest single-engine, low-altitude, propeller-driven aircraft, the Tempest emerged as one of the conflict's most formidable fighters. Specifications Equipped with one Napier Sabre, two B H24 liquid-cooled sleeve valve, piston engine with 2,420 horsepower, four 20 millimeter Hispano Mark II cannons, two 500 pound bombs or 1,000 pound bombs, six 3 inch RP3 rockets or fuel tanks, a top speed of 435 miles per hour, a crew speed of 390 miles per hour, a range of 420 miles, and a service ceiling of 36,500 feet. Design and Development Several design changes were already planned out by the design team, which was led by Sir Sidney Cam during the creation of the earlier Hawker Typhoon. The Typhoon II, or Thin Wing Typhoon, also known as the Hawker P-1012, or Typhoon II, is the product of these advancements. Despite the Typhoon generally considered sound design, Cam and his design team weren't happy with how, how well its wing performed because it was discovered that they had extensively thick cross-section which interfered with airflow and decreased flight performance particularly at higher altitudes and speeds where compressibility was a factor. The greatest thickness to the cord ratio of the Typhoon's NACA 4 Digit Series wing section was 19.5 degrees to 12 degrees, as, as contrasted to the Supermarine Spitfire's 13.2, tapering to 6 degrees at the tip. To lessen drag, a similar design was initially adopted. Other issues with the Typhoon were unstable engines, insufficient structural integrity, and difficulties carrying out high altitude interception operations. The wing platform was changed to an almost circular, circular shape to accommodate the 800 rounds for the four 20mm Hispano cannons, which were placed back further into the wing. The Typhoon's leading edge fuel tanks had to be sacrificed, even if the new wing was larger. To compensate for, the, for this capacity, Hawker engineers installed a new 21 inch fuel bay in front of the cockpit, complete with a 76 gallon fuel tank. Beginning with the late model Tempests versus a 30 gallon tank which was carried on the leading edge of the port wing route, giving the Tempest a total of internal fuel capacity of 162 gallons. To inner spar, two inner spar wing tanks 
of 18 gallon, 28 gallon, each were fitted either side of the central portion. Variants The single seat Tempest Mark II fighter aircraft operated by the RAF was equipped with a Bristol Centaurus Mark V radial piston engine, short barreled Hispano Mark V cannons, and, stan and a standard Mark V tail unit. The guns on the Tempest Mark II had fewer cartridges than the Mark V and Mark VI. 402 were made by Hawker at Langley and 50 by Bristol Aeroplane Company at Barnwell. In the end, the Hawker Typhoon was comparable to the Fokker Wolf FW-190 and Republic P-47 Thunderbolt. It was one of the best ground attack fighters of the war and was even used to intercept V-1 flying bombs. If you have any aircraft to recommend, leave them in the comments down below.